Hey folks, welcome to Aunt Sandy's Kitchen. And today we are going to be frying okra. It's summertime. Uh, okra is plentiful now. And so we, Kenneth went to the, far, the market and got some okra. Wa I washed it, rinsed it, and I cut... Uh, you know, I cut the top off of it like that, that, that knob, cut it up, and then you cut the little, cut the little tail on, cut that off. But this one was too hard to uh, eat. So uh, I put about a half a cup of water in this bowl, and I put my, um, my cornmeal in there that I uh, I put salt and pepper in it and I'm gonna mix it all together that that the water that way it will uh, help it stick that cornmeal stick put a little bit more in there So you'll have a good breading. I throw one in there to see how hot my oil is. And it seems to be getting there. I kind of like I deep fry mine. I put uh, probably a cup of oil in there. It's about halfway up my cast iron skillet. A hot burger. Wanna put a couple of lay it in there real easy so you don't splatter. And over here I got a um, cookie sheet with a paper towel on it that I want to um, put my okra in. And I've got this little thing that I want to get it out when it's time. You just let it uh, cook until it's golden brown and it'll take three or four minutes when you get your grease hot. Okra is very easy to cook. You can fry it, you can boil it, you can put it in peas, you can, but we like ours fried. Those of you who have got a garden, you know that uh, okra is kind of hard to pick because it's itchy. <laughs> you have to wear long sleeves when you go in there and cut them pods off. That's what I remember about it anyway. I was just itching all over the place. Even though I'm using fresh okra right now, uh, you can buy frozen okra. And uh, I get mine without the breading. I bread my, uh, put my breading on it. <laughs> and it tastes just fine. Uh, but in the summertime, it's always nice to get fresh stuff. If you got a big bunch of okra, you don't want to cook it all. You can just slice it and um, put it in Ziploc, Ziploc bags and freeze it. And it'll be good this winter. 
same goes for uh, squash. You just, you know, wash it and <clears throat> slice it, put it in Ziploc bags, put it in the freezer. Nice and golden brown. My mother-in-law um, took a uh, whole, whole okra and stewed tomatoes and uh, bacon and cooked it. And uh, that was one of her recipes. Well, we're through frying the okra. It's nicely golden brown with that uh, breading on it. I don't like a lot of breading on mine, just enough to give it crunch. But this is what it looks like. It tastes wonderful. Um, I'm fixing to make a, mate, a meatloaf and some cornbread to go with the rest of the stuff I'm making. And so, I hope you check out my recipes down in the description and um, try it. It's summertime. Vegetables are plentiful. And uh, thank you for watching my videos. And as always, God bless. Check out my Etsy store for Aunt Sandy's merchandise. And if you like this recipe and found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe to my channel.